It seems that everything in the universe has already happened under eternalism. My name is Dean Bonamano. I'm a neuroscientist at the University of California, Los Angeles. In the context of physics, there's two general views of the nature of time. One we can think of as presentism, in which only the present is real. And the second we can think of as eternalism, in which the past, present, and future are equally real. And under this view, now is to time as here is to space. In other words, just as I happen to be here now, it's perfectly acceptable to me that there are other points in space I could be. Similarly, just as I am here now, under eternalism, there's plenty of other points in time um, in the past and the future where perhaps other versions of myself or other parts of my world line exist and are as real as I am. Under eternalism, the question of free will and determinism becomes much less clear because it seems that everything in the universe has already happened under eternalism. This is called the block universe view in physics, in which everything has, in a sense, a manner of speaking, already happened. And this would mean that what we think of as free will is, in a sense, an illusion. But I think part of the challenge there is coming to terms with what free will means. And I think in reality, from a neuroscience basis, what we should think of free will as simply a subjective feeling of your unconscious brain making decisions. Pain might be a sense of what happens when somebody steps on our toe. Free will is the subjective sense, the feeling we get, when the unconscious brain makes a decision, giving us the impression that it was the conscious mind that just made that decision.